I swear to God, I thought I turned yeah. the phone on. Yeah, this about oh to be over. Oh my God. This is my hats though. Cut it. Cut new, it. New cafe new coming. <laughs> new cafe Video coming. Video over. Shit. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Pete here, and today we're doing another smoke session. We got my homeboy Chase, mm -hmm. aka Billy Esco, mm -hmm. aka Busy, <laughs> aka <laughs> he yeah. has a gazillion names. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it's another smoke session. So make sure you subscribe to my channel because you know they be coming. Smoke mm -hmm. sessions, they rolling out. Mm -hmm. They rolling, rolling out. out rolling make up. sure you give this video a thumbs up mm -hmm. and subscribe. To, like, yo, stop playing in my face. Subscribe to my channel, cause y'all know it's lit over here. Like, I duh. Heard you. I heard you. <laughs> duh. Be with the energy early with it. Okay. All right, so what we smoking on today? All right, so um, if you know me anyway, you see me smoke a lot of weed. You always see me associated with weed. I am a very like weed enthusiast. Mm -hmm. I um, like that. I like how that sounds. I will say this, like. Um, I smoke for my personal preferences, mm -hmm. but I also did the the knowledge to learn about weed. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, a lot of people don't do that, no. and it's not necessary. But anything I consume, I would like to know. Right. So I, and even like with my mom, she, like my family accepts that I smoke weed because I explain to them okay. why and all the reasons and things and shit like that. So I had to literally like give my mom a dissertation. <laughs> But after that, she was just like, all right, well, cool. Man. You can smoke. You got it. Now. Yeah, right. it was like, you cool, it. you're smoking a house now. Yeah. That's great. Um, so today, I don't got my traditional backwoods. I don't endorse tobacco, but I am addicted to backwoods. Mm -hmm. It's just a thing. Um, so we got papers. Shout out to Now Smoking. It's mm -hmm. a company out in uh, uh, New York City. Um, so shout out to them for that, my boy, oh. Rock. And then today... We got some London pound cake, um, which we'll go into that. And uh, we got this new butcher's breath. Listen, y'all remember, OJ was talking about this. Word, Here we go. Word, so. Um, I was going to hit Benny up like, and request that when we do it, he has to. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I told when I bought the weed from, I told when I bought it off his peoples, I told him I need the bag specifically. Right. Like, I need Absolutely. the bag. So, I mean, um, now, I've been smoking weed for about 10 years now, consistently. Wow. Yeah, okay. fast. So, like I, like, I literally remember when weed became cool again, like, the day Cushion OJ dropped. I remember, <laughs> like, Twitter, because this is when Instagram wasn't out at the time. Mm -hmm. And Twitter literally was, like, kind of finding, like, out how good weed, weed is. was. <laughs> And, like, since that day, people have become, like, normal with it again. But mm -hmm. I remember before then when, like, smoking weed was kind of rebellious. And, like, right. the thing that only... Is that why you started them? Nah, honestly, like, so, for me personally, I was an athlete growing up. Mm -hmm. So, like, I never got it's into... It's not, like, the opposite? Right. So, <laughs> I never got into, like, smoking weed or drinking mm -hmm. until after high school. Um, then my senior year when we graduated that summer mm -hmm. like you know i got the whip finally like a new whip we was out here we thought oh uh, it, was, the, it came yeah, with the, it was the package yeah <laughs> and like the hoop dreams by my senior year hoop dreams was done i only went to school to wear new outfits which is terrible but i passed and i became like known as a fashionable guy right so it worked um and yeah so when i first started smoking it was really like a recreational like one of my good friends M though he been smoking since we was kids. Mm -hmm. Like I don't even know when he started. But he always was like smoking. You, yeah, you wanna smoke, go to M though. Right. And um he actually got me caught by my mom for the first time. 
The man dropped. We is like 17. The man comes to my house. We about to smoke. Mm -hmm. And he drops the fucking L on the <laughs> on the step. And my mom walk up the stairs like, What's this? Ain't <laughs> She just like, Mike, what you doing with this? <laughs> but she cool. So after that, I started experiencing like internal consciousness. Mm -hmm. if that's like a, a phrase. Yeah. I just started being aware of myself. Yeah. And with that, I started like dealing with just personal shit. And I think weed helped me escape. You know, a lot of times we start smoking weed to like escape mm -hmm. your little situation and I think from there it just kind of built up to like it would it started becoming a habit just because I would smoke with my friends, but it didn't like become a thing until I learned how to roll. Cause for the first two years I ain't know how to roll. I'm still struggling. Yeah, I tell this people how this started. <laughs> Honestly, because okay. I would always be like, "Shine, can you roll me a blunt?" And he'd be like, "Dude, you gotta learn." <laughs> Yeah, and I, I was like, gonna lie. you gotta. Well, I was like, why don't you just show me? And I was like, yo, wait, let's make a video. Fire, fire. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. No, there's a lot how. of people, and I, I feel like a lot of women don't roll, which is cool. Um, I actually like women that can roll and don't smoke. It's, it's kind of sexy. It's just like I see, I know. see. But either way, like if you smoke, I'm not against anything. Like however you do it, mm -hmm. everything with moderation. Right. Um, but yeah, like I, I used to use a weed roller. And then from the weed roller. What's the weed roller? A weed roller is literally like it's for joints. Um and it's like how can I explain this shit? It's like this like contraption that you put the paper in mm -hmm. and you kinda just roll it like that. Oh. Put the weed in I'm and I'm about to just, find that. Yeah, in fact, they got them at like the Terrapin station. I feel like those are like starters mm -hmm. for anybody. And then I well, I just graduated to just getting raw cones because they already pre rolled. Cones is the easiest. And thing. all I, I gotta do is stuff it. Cones <laughs> is the easiest. And like right now, we rolling papers. Usually, I would roll uh, blunts. Mm -hmm. And then even with papers, usually you would put like what is called fronto. So it's like um, <laughs> sure, that's what it's yeah. called. So fronto <laughs> is a uh, is a Jamaican. I don't want to just say it's Jamaican but it's like a leaf grown in like Caribbean places okay that's like natural tobacco it literally comes straight from the tree and you dry it out mm -hmm. and you can strip it and smoke it um it's like what backwards are supposed to be minus the the additives gotcha so that just help I mean it in this day and age we smoke blunts because half of us like we smoke for the weed with the blunts, like we kind of addicted, like whether really? we know it or not. Hmm. Yeah, because like if you smoke papers, it's not the same as a blunt. It's not. It's not. And it's that extra kick that the tobacco gives you that. And it's just something about a blunt that just feel right. right. <laughs> it just feel right. Like sometimes when I'm in New York, I buy Dutchess just because. Just because I'm in New York, it's like I, I want to feel the stats nostalgic <laughs> facts. So like with papers is tricky because I always say cultures do things different. Mm -hmm. So white people know how to roll very good J's. Mm -hmm. It's just a part of their thing. Mm -hmm. And then like we just specialize in blunts. Now granted, I know a lot of people that can roll good J's, but yo, it'd be some fucking baseball bat. Just beautiful. <laughs> you feel me? But I still roll papers like blunts. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to each his own. So, what's your favorite type of weed? Are you like an indica or Okay, a so definitely indica, which is a problem because it's expensive because you want to smoke the strongest fucking weed possible. And then you sit there and wonder why you can't get it. <laughs> like, why you bro, can't move? You just why you smoke can't do nothing? <laughs> a full backward at fucking 8 a.m. And that's literally how I start my So, do you think you're a pothead? I want to say, I like weed enthusiasts. Because <laughs> potheads sound lazy. Yeah. And I've had my pothead moments where I like totally flaked on a whole day because I was too high. Mm -hmm. I personally don't like that shit. And I went through a lot of like, I went through a lot of like, the uh, kind of conscious thoughts to really say like it's weed for me. Mm -hmm. Because I've been smoking for so long, but I done fucked up some money on weed. I done spent 
Even in this pandemic. <laughs> That was money I spent on weed. Well, I mean, what else you got to do? That's what I'm saying. It's Honestly. like, shit is crazy. But um, I don't know. Like, I, I mean, I, I, I smoke weed. Like, I am, like, last, maybe last Are year. Are you awake and baker? Yes. And then you smoke before you go to bed? Yes. Two different books. Yes, definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. Here's our answer, people. Yeah, oh, yeah, facts. <laughs> I smoke a lot of weed. Like, I know, and then like I, I connotate it to like I spent a lot of time around rappers, mm -hmm. and for whatever reason, that's our thing. It get us in the zone, mm -hmm. but then like sometimes it, sometimes it could be too much. But we like no one ever says this is too much weed. No. So I've been somebody should yeah. though. Oh, facts! Like you just tap out quietly. Okay, you feel me? But it's been Yo, I remember times. one time um, we was at the Oak Room, mm -hmm. Shine, of course, he's always doing gets me too high. Mm -hmm. He goes, "Yo, let's go smoke in the car." And I'm not well. I'm new compared to y'all, like but I've been smoking for like two, three years, almost okay. three years. So I'm not a hot boxer. Right, okay. <laughs> so we go to the car and it's cold outside. So you do got the windows up. So I try to like keep cracking my window. Like, <laughs> right, like let me get this. Listen, so we get done smoking, go back in the open. I was in there for like 10 minutes and I was like, y'all, I gotta go. Yo, I'm way too high. I feel like it's like a weed cloud <laughs> around me. Like every, every time I just go, people can smell weed yeah. like yo i gotta go i'm just way too high yeah, and it was just too many people in there <laughs> for me to be that high yeah, yeah I'm like, uh -uh, i gotta go i gotta go i just gotta go i'm about to go like the box and shit because you inhaling the weed you just exhale right so it ain't no circulation none and i used to do that a lot shout out to like ocho because we used to do that shit all the time and like we would, it'd be like seven of us in the car, this little ass car, just hot, hot boxing. Box. Get out the car, the car look like it's on fire, <laughs> smoking for hours. And you're just like, what the fuck is y'all doing? But now, see, I feel like I'm matured in smoking. Mm -hmm. Cause like before, I was a type where it's eight heads and one on one nah, one. Nah, nah, nah. Cipher or like. <laughs> You wouldn't tap out when you was high, like mm -hmm. you would try to keep going. Now, I'm definitely on some. You're smoking. a bougie smoker. Yeah, mm hmm. That's, yeah, I feel like that's the only type of smoker you could be now. I'm definitely, especially with the Corona shit. That and people be smoking some different type of weed. That's another thing. <laughs> like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to share. I, I'm going to put it like this if I'm coming with fire weed, and I'm budgeting my weed. I'm smoking a face. Right. I need that to get to the level I'm trying to reach. Because for me, I don't smoke to get high, which sounds crazy. But I don't like cigarettes or any of that. So I smoke to relieve my anxiety. Mm -hmm. I got anxiety a lot. So I smoke more so just to like level up. You feel me? Um, How does anxiety work with you and being an entertainer? It's crazy because, like, A, I didn't know that I had anxiety. Um, I actually inherited from, like, my family. And like, my mom has, like, acute anxiety. Mm -hmm. So her shit can get crazy. So, like, growing up, I never knew, like, with the whole mental health thing. Like, I never, they don't explain to us these symptoms, these, right. these, these body, these signs and shit. So, like, I, was, I wasn't always like this. Okay, you were right. That is really smooth. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> A little, a little different like that the is... papers is a lot and the way like this was a good blunt on road so it what papers you taste all the weed yeah that's really blunts true. you taste the blunt right and some i feel like blunts have aftertaste too and i'd be like and that's what is not enough weed yeah. if you could taste the blunt it's not enough weed in it. all right back to anxiety so, and entertainment anxiety and okay so the reason why i'm so active on stage is because if not i would like freak out yeah, like not Freeze freak up. out but it's just like yeah because it's like all y'all fucking staring at me. right and y'all not like dancing until i do something so right. it's kind of like so, so y'all could not fully pay yeah. so i cannot pay attention to y'all pay attention to me yeah. i have to do something you feel me so the more i'm at then once i see reactions it makes me more like loose and lively mm -hmm. 
But it's weird because a lot of people see me, and if you know me, like my name is busy. So like I got that from being a busy body. Right. Person. So it's like I'm s I am I talk a lot in public or all because I'm actually like very like reserved and kinda shy and like mm-hmm. anxious. So it's kinda like a coping mechanism to do more which is weird. It's not because I'm the opposite. Mm-hmm. I'm quiet as fuck until I get to know you. And then you're gonna be like, dang, bitch, y'all ain't not. Like, I feel you. Because, I, I mean, even, I guess, no, it depends on how we met. We met through OJ, right? Yeah, just coming to the club. And, right. But it was always just yeah. very just, quick. Right, yeah. But chill. then it's like, oh, wait. No, yeah. At the, <laughs> at the podcast, that's why I see your, like, the real person out. I'm like, oh, shit, she's mad funny and shit. <laughs> like, right, a lot of people be like, yo, she mean as fuck, she a bitch, right. bro. I'm like, no, I'm not. I don't know, you look I just, just like don't know lady. you. That's because you don't be letting them in the club and they be tight. <laughs> That's, that's, really, exactly, that's really the yo, reason. That shit will change somebody's friendship. Like, a whole, yo, you're not going to let even. No, like, you got to relax. <laughs> <laughs> that shit be crazy. That's a whole nother damn. That shit be wild. Yeah, that be wild. But yeah, like, even when I be in places, I will be high as hell. Because mm-hmm. of the simple fact, I'm around all these people. And now, I'm the type of person where, like, I, like, like, I have an open heart. Mm-hmm. So I feel for everything. I'm an empath. I really feel. So even when I'm around people, I feel. Right. So if I'm if I'm not if I'm sober, I'm gonna be a bored, and then I'm not gonna be engaging because I don't like all oh, that's what's going on. But when I'm high, I don't care. Then I could just like yep. be high. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's so, me. Yeah. When I'm going somewhere, I know I'm not gonna know nobody yet. Or I'm going to know, like, one person there, and you can't expect that one person to just be, like, kicking it with you the whole time. I'm like, I'm going to smoke before I go. Yeah, right. And then I don't care whoever want to make Because I low-key hate small talk. Cause oh, it's I'm like, bad at it. That, I'm bad at it. That's like, why what? What do you want? Like, let's, let's talk about something. Like, right, something. 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 Like, what makes you think <laughs> that night? Like, what, like, like, but I can't just sit here and just be like... So, you yeah, know, what's up with you? Definitely understand. Like, what you want to know? Right. Just tell me what you want to know and I'll tell you. Yeah, weed definitely helps bring people together for that matter. Like, I for met sure. a lot of people in Cyphers. I didn't, like, kick it with some, like, I didn't really got to know people mm-hmm. during the blunt. Even, which is crazy, but rest in peace to Pop Smoke. Even him, like, when we was in Paris, me and Wes was at this party, and, um, now they don't sell like tobacco. They don't sell roll up in, 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 in Paris. They sell double XL wraps. Now if you know what them are, them are the fucking. They literally call hood wraps. Like double XL, the magazine has their own wrap, <laughs> and it's worse than like. Now I don't like swishers. I'm sorry if you're a swisher smoker. Yeah. I don't really like swishers. They're more of a southern thing or like mm-hmm. a west coast thing. I'm not. I don't like games. I fucking hate all them other shits, mm-hmm. right? But, yo, the shit, I was out there, and they had only them. So we in the club, and we, we chilling or whatever, and Pop, it's his party. It's like the day before he come back to New York. And um, so he in the backwards, and this dude, like, sitting next to me, me in VIP, this mm-hmm. dude sitting next to me, got a whole pack. So we about to roll up and then dip. So I asked cuz he like, yo, it's, it's his shit. He points to Pop Smoke. I don't know this dude. Mm-hmm. Feel me? And granted, like, he is, he was at the level he was at. So I don't know how people respond to people back. they don't know. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because, like, granted, I am who I am, but you don't know me. Right. So you could really take your success to the head and be like, I don't know this nigga. Why is he talking to me? Right. You feel me? Or he could be cool like he was. So I end up just asking, like, yo, bro, I'll give you some bread. Let me get a back one. He's like, no, you Gucci. You just. And, like, for smokers, this only means something to smokers. You know you don't let anybody you don't know open your pack up. Yes. You feel me? <laughs> so, like, for him to, like, let me open the pack mm-hmm. and, you feel me, get the joint without and not even asking for no bread. Granny got money. But it was the, 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 the principle. principle. You feel me? So I respected that shit. And then this is, see what happened after this is crazy. But, yeah, so. Um, let, let's talk about Paris because... Did you? I don't think you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed Paris. Ooh. I would fucking move to Paris. I, no, I would love to go to Paris. I mean, I would love to move to Paris. And the thing about it, side note, the only thing about papers, they, you don't roll them like a baseball, them shits keep going out. Yeah, they do. 
hate him. So, Paris was like, that was God. You feel me? That was, everything is God. But that was like a real divine happening. Mm -hmm. Because I literally was, I had Esco and friends like two days before. And the day before Esco and friends, I was talking to Wes. And he told me about Paris. Mm -hmm. So he like, I'm like, congratulations on getting a passport. You feel me? Like I know you, you are like you are ex family. So it's like for you to get a passport, that's some big deal. Hood shit. Yeah. You feel me? So I'm like, yo, now you can start going to all these like shows and shit. He like, and it was about to be fashion week. Now I'm like very privy to like fashion week and just Paris in general. Like mm -hmm. even when I was younger, I used to say I wanted to move there for like a year, and I never got the chance to nor go. But I always been planning. So he like, I'm going next week. So long story short. I'm like, well, I know you can get your passport expedited, but I, I thought it was a week. Yeah, you can get it next day. That's what I didn't know till <laughs> later. So I ended up finding that out after asking my friends, got my passport, literally bought the ticket, got my passport, applied at 9 a.m., got it at 12 p.m., mm -hmm. bought my ticket at 12.30, packed by 2, left Buffalo by 3, drove to Toronto by 4.30, mm -hmm. and then checked in by six that shit was the craziest shit ever and like for all them things that happened i'm like if if any of this falls short it wasn't meant to be right but if this go through it's god and then the rest was just really history and i didn't know that he was invited to the shows like i didn't know nothing i'm just mm -hmm. like you going? Yeah, I'm going yeah i'm going too and i'm thinking <laughs> in my head like nobody from griselda could go with it. Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking he's going to take his family because I'm like, they're the only people that got passports that can travel. Right. But everybody else damn near got records. Right. So I'm like, shit, I'm going to just go off the support of, you know, we into the same shit and you, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And man, just going there, seeing the culture. The only thing I did like was the, my taste buds are not ready to wait for <laughs> No, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I did. So let me just tell you, when I went to Paris, it was a time um, where I like stopped eating meat. I was like cutting down like bread, all, like you know, you know how shit got. Mm -hmm. um, so when I went there, I was like, oh my god, this is like perfect because they don't, yeah. they kind of eat like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they really eat. like you could definitely get some good seafood, but for real, yeah, like you get it depends on where you go, though. Okay, see, I we don't did know the, the person I went with, so I always tell her, I well, she had a kid on me, and this <laughs> but I had a good travel buddy, mm. and she, I'm more of the like, let's go here. Mm -hmm. So, this is how it went we were trying to go to J. Cole, um. Chris Brown and somebody else, they was all having concerts at the same time. Well, the, you know, the tour was kind of overlapping fine. each other. So we were trying to hit each concert in a different place. So um, we had did this Chris Brown one in Baltimore, I think. And who, I can't remember who the other person was. But anyway, so we like, damn, how, where are we going to go to J. Cole at? Because his American tour part was all like, the same, it was really close to the other concert. Mm -hmm. So I was like, where the tour ending at? Like, where is going at the end? And she like, well, in, I don't want to say it was October. He's going he gonna to be in Paris. So I was like, shit, we out. We going to Paris. That's right. That's <laughs> so we literally went to Paris Dude, for the J. Cole concert. That's, that's fire. <laughs> so, but she, I'm the idea person that she kind of like, oh, well, let me find a hotel. Oh, Let's find perfect. all the food places. Let's find. So she, I don't have that research. She has it. So that's why when you asked me, I was like, damn, where did we go? That's I'm trying to like look and you know how your photo album like saves the location. <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember the name. She did all that research and we was all through that motherfucker. That's crazy. See, that's one thing about traveling. Get your team together. Right. Because a travel team is essential. Now, I'm not going to lie. Traveling? Fuck with friendship now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no, for dudes, it'd be an argument. Niggas would get mad, but niggas would get over. Mm -hmm. I just see niggas fight. I'm dev. You been like I'm definitely the type where I'm not with the bullshit around right. because I'm really there to work, and I will dip off. Mm -hmm. I will be the like, but 
I'm gonna find Call me when y'all ready. Yeah, yeah like, I'm, I'm good. Cause most of the time I travel to places I know. But if we really doing some all group and shit, mm -hmm. just let's ride. Right. So get your team together, cause that's essential. And even with the weed, having essential weed man or knowing essential weed shit etiquette mm -hmm. will get you far when you travel. Girl. A lot of travel etiquette, period. Like, just don't try to step on another person's toes. I think people, women, might have that more problem. Because it's like, she got an idea, she got an idea. We both want to do it at the same time. Now they fucking arguing. And niggas I'm like, do that too, but niggas will dip off. Or right. niggas will drag until one final decision makes. Like, all right, you know what, bro? Because, like, niggas want to go. So it be this. When niggas want to go shopping. Like, okay, we cool, let's have a shop day, but niggas be wanna go to the mall. Yeah. We not going to the mall. <laughs> Nothing I want is in the mall, except for socks and maybe kicks. On top of that, it's gonna take mad time and you just moving like how we move in the town. We in a different place. Let's not act like we in Buffalo. Right. Let's take advantage of what's around us. Right. Instead of doing shit we got. <coughs> you feel me? And going places that you already know about. Right. I mean granted. Buffalo low key is like the outlet for all stores. <laughs> Shit is terrible. And you can literally go H and M here and go to H and M somewhere else, and all the shit somewhere else is way better. Way better. Way better. <laughs> but I still like that's like the day before we leave shopping day. Like let's go hit up the mall. See, but that's, that's not like the shopping trip. Be that's mid like trip. we ain't got shit they to do. They trying to go back to the mall. No, nah, no. Nah, they go to nah. Roscoe. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hey, bro. But uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, that shit be killing me, dog. When I'm in LA, bro, I be trying to do the most. So you gotta just niggas be just. That's why I ain't gonna lie. When I was in Paris, though, I wanted all my friends to be there. Cause we had a, like we had a, it had been. So like, it was fun, but it was work. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, getting there. And, like, again, with the weed shit. The first day we get there, you know we got to get weed. Right. We in us. another country. Mind you. I did not smoke in Paris, but how was it? Was it Man, different or the same? I had three experiences, right? First mm -hmm. of all, them shits was 500 an ounce. Right? 500 an ounce here will get you this this literally 500 ounce the butcher bro. shout out to benny the butcher <laughs> go, you feel me go holla at them that's 500 ounce that's like peanut you feel me that's like the top top cookies that's like real gas mm -hmm. that's fucking laboratory gas right we pay 500 for damn near like some shit I could get from my Brody for two fifty. Mm. You feel me? A quarter. A, a, you did get a half for a mm -hmm. for a hundred. So the shit it was smoking. Why is we had to smoke double XL wraps? <laughs> and cause West don't smoke papers. Mm -hmm. It was only me and him smoking. We gotta smoke. This nigga smoke a lot. I smoke, but he smoke way more. I feel like jail niggas smoke. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like the nigga because you, they probably would smoke cigarettes in jail, and now they just switched the habit. Nigga, to yeah, the niggas just smoke all day. Sorry, it's I know like, too much about jail. Keep them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you feel shout out to all my niggas Sorry. on the wall, man. Free real. So it's like the shit be like five hundred for that. It's not even that much gas. Well, whatever, we smoking. The second time we spent five fifty, in the the first one was better than the second oh, one oh. but they was telling us the second one was the more expensive better one they said these are the cookies the cookies <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was hot man i like paris up paris i, I would it. definitely go the again the third one was free and it was the best weed i smoked not because it was free it was amazing and it grew it outdoor mm. and it was still fun wow so yeah so yeah, but Paris was amazing. We smoked everywhere. Mm -hmm. Smoked everywhere. Like literally everywhere. And I know we wasn't supposed to, but we smoked. 
So did y'all get to do like touristy stuff? No, not at all. Oh, we literally I wanted did to go to so the Louvre. much touristy. We literally like went to the Louvre. Take pictures. Shout out to my neighbor in <laughs> Spain. I love her. Feel me. Oh, um, no, fucking uh, we was like okay. So the the off white store was in front of the uh in front of the Louvre. Mm -hmm. We never went to the Louvre. What? We try to go to the Eiffel when it do the flicker and uh -huh. shit. We missed it by yeah. a minute. Literally, our fucking Uber literally drove past it. We watching it like we all in. Yo, right. this shit crazy. I got the video. Mm -hmm. This shit crazy. It's, this nigga go. goes in a rent like he goes underground. Like bro, you could have took the street. Right. Then the nigga drop us off under it. You know it's big as hell. You, you can't, can't see, see it, it from you under. You had to come back. I'm like, bro, you just killed the whole experience, bro. Yeah, we did all of that shit. We got on the, um, they have one of those, like, the hop-on, hop-off buses mm -hmm. that take you to all the spots. We was on them joints for two days. I I went, I caught oh, the, we caught the train to the concert. I caught the subway. I, had I a, like the train situation. Shit look like New York. It Toronto. do, but... Updated, and you know it's crazy because they seats go up. I hopped that joint. You did. I did. Come on. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, mind you, if you know anything about these train systems, they are anti-hop. These niggas got a gate. Mm -hmm. That shit will lock your leg. Like, bro, I had the perfect. And mind you, the only reason why is because I only had like I was the only one that converted my money to euros. Mm -hmm. So I had euros, but I had all big bills, and they didn't have like whatever they shit was. The machine don't give you the right. Mind thing. you, it was in French. Mm. I couldn't understand it, so I'm like, how the fuck? And I had. Oh no, they had some signs in English. No, it they, was like they did, but they machine mm -hmm. only was reading it in, in fucking French. Oh. And I had to go to a, a a meet, and I met a designer, and I had a fitting. So I'm like, you know what? They at the studio. This one, we first. This like literally, I went. And you could have been a nigga locked up in Paris. I could have. <laughs> right after, I, mind you, I had just did three twenty seven. Mm -hmm. We just recorded it, and I'm like, I bet I laid down my verse. Wes and them kept recording. I'm like, y'all gotta go, go see this dude. And then um, I did, and I'm like, fuck. I remember it. Like, oh shit, I can't pay with my card. Mm -hmm. None of my shit working. Well, you I could pay with your card. I think. Oh, no, my cards wasn't working. Like uh -huh. all that shit. Like. Only thing that saved me was my I had euros. But I, we ain't have to really spend too much bread, but I had money, like, wherever I go, I'm just going. I didn't want it, like, you feel me? That's just me. Right. So I had, I converted some money to euros, and that shit, I was pissed. First of all. That fucking conversion? <laughs> mind you, I did the conversion. Get your money back, you be like. I did the conversion, like, if you ever travel, don't do the conversion at the airport. Don't do it anywhere. Go to the ATM and withdraw the amount you want, and they'll Yo, come facts. to you. Facts. <laughs> that I didn't think of that shit at all. I swear. So I got all my money. I got a sock full of money. I'm uptown now. I keep on. We got a sock full of money. I got to go to convert it. They took off like two fifty. Mind you, I'm thinking like I'm about to convert, man. Got it. I got it. Got it. I'm about to no. go there with it. at least a rack in euros. No. I'm good. I'm like, bet. That's no. They gave me half. I'm like, you be, I was reading the sign. Like, wait, it just right. says. Let me do the math on my phone. I was pissed. Then when we got there, I realized <laughs> I didn't even need that much money. Right. Cause mad shit was. I didn't have to pay for. I, I'm thinking like we going as regular people. Nah, we went as street rappers. Guess, like yeah, we had yeah. work to do. And I'm like, I bet. So it was cool. That shit was, that shit was, that shit was love. But smoking in front of the Eiffel, smoking in front of the Louvre. That shit was just fire. And then they was looking at us like, who are y'all? Like what the fuck? No, the crazy thing about it, a lot of them knew West mm. off rip. Like they just knew. I'm like, oh shit! And some of these niggas knew me, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like, how the fuck do y'all know me? Right. And then like, you know, we we didn't get to smoke in the morning for the waking day, so we just do the show. Right. We like we, everything lit. We kind of lit. We were drinking backstage. Let me hold it. I do it too. <laughs> Sidebar: This video is proof that I hold the weed. <laughs> That's why I smoke facials, so I don't fuck up y'all cipher. 
or don't let me talk. Just play music. If I talk, then it's gonna be a long uh, blunt. Long hold. It's gonna be a Please long don't. blunt. But yeah, so just like doing all that, then going outside and just like, oh yo, let's like the like like the blunt. Like I bet. And then just like people looking at us like Did y'all go to the club? Yes. Shout out to the clubs. The fucking so That's I think that's where we kinda like failed at. We only went to one, it was kinda like Hole in the wall joint. We went to like a club. Right. I forgot the name of it, but um, the first night, uh, Barry um, from the ASAP Barry had a party. Mm -hmm. Um, see, I think it's it's definitely a different experience when you go to a city for something versus yeah, just randomly but going. Even that club. Okay, so during that time. It was lit, period. Like, even if we didn't go to the shows and we was just there and then went out, it would right. still be lit. I think they club life is lit, though, because mm -hmm. they clubs go to, like, six. Right. You know, it's just be, and they play mad, reg, they to play all music, bottles, all that shit. Like, it's the same as a New York club or Toronto. It look like Toronto. Remind me it of does. Toronto. It does. Remind, remind me of Toronto. Toronto. And, like, they security was looking at us, like, you know, we walking up, nobody's paying for nothing. Right. Nobody, they looking at us like, who the fuck is y'all? <laughs> so the, the first day, they try to flex, so we left. Like, man, fuck y'all. And they come run out. No, 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 come back, come back. Shit was funny as hell. We got a security. Shout out Big Lynn. Mind you, yeah, Big Lynn is the it. biggest person in Paris. <laughs> yes. So he's bigger than their security. Right. To the point where <laughs> one day we went to the club, and they, they telling us, they telling one of our homies, club at capacity, can't get in. West, like, dude, we'll pay, like, whatever to mm -hmm. get in. It's, like, 3 in the morning. We could easily go. It's fuck it. They, like, um, now nah, y'all can't come in. Like, fuck it. We just about to go to the door and see. It's five of us. It's, like, six of them. The lamb just in the front. They looking at us. We looking at them. They're looking at us, they just move to the side. Go right Let ahead. us go in. That shit was funny as hell. I'm like, dude, yeah, man. But yeah, shout out to Lamb because he was holding it down. Like, you feel me? So that allowed us to smoke anywhere more. But I would smoke anywhere anyway. Just be. Right, because anybody about to come to him, like, could you tell him I'm the weed? Right. <laughs> Even when the cop, the cops tried to pull up on us one time, but you could dip off on the cops. For sure. That shit. For sure, you can. <laughs> <laughs> they not as aggressive. They not aggressive. I, I don't think nobody there was pretty aggressive at all. I thought it was pretty nice there, to be honest. Yeah, we got a couple sassiness for not speaking French. But well, of course, that, yeah. It was love. So that was a pair. Right. I'm a citizen. Now. So, do you like women who smoke weed? I love women who smoke weed, but I also love women who don't. <laughs> you feel me? But if you smoke weed, you just it's another level that we can understand together. Right. You feel me? So it's like, you won't judge me. I have relationships where they might judge me. But right. Like, dang, why you guys smoke so much? I was that girl. Mm -hmm. I was that girl. Because yeah. I didn't understand. Nobody ever explained it to me. Have you ever did bongs? No. No? Nah. I feel like mm. when people do, like, the little one, it's, like, That's really too close to smoking crack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You should see a dab rig. I'd be like... A dab rig. These niggas yeah. really, like, got a blowtorch. They got to heat it up to, like, 300 degrees, probably mm -hmm. more. Take the torch, put the pin in it, hit it, and it looked like a dab rig. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. That is terrible etiquette. <laughs> I'm so sorry. They love my turning their phones uh, off. I didn't even know I had my phone They, they must think I'm an amateur or nah, something. Y'all was, was, don't respect my crap. Y'all nah, be turning so y'all phones off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> nah, but uh, yeah, I love women who smoke weed. Um, it's cool. You feel me? Sexy. Roll the blunt up. Well, she can't roll. That's cool. I roll. <laughs> but if you if you smoke, man, if you, okay, so if you smoke, I I roll it up. I ain't opposed to that. Mm -hmm. I'm not opposed to that. I roll it up for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm a teacher. If you my girl, you smoke. I'm a teacher. So since you're like a rapper, you fashion. How how is it dating you? <laughs> 
Jeez Louise. <laughs> Should we know. phone a friend? <laughs> Yo, I'm trying to, you know it's crazy? I'm trying to figure that shit out myself. Dating? Yeah, and like, what is, like, what do y'all really feel about like? me? What you I'm mean trying by to that? Figure out. All right, this is funny. <laughs> so, Ben, it's like this. In the past, first of all, my personality is very outgoing. You know? I am a musician, a creative. You see me out, the, the busy aspect of me. Oh, you see me in the club, you see me out, you see me talking to mad people. Mm -hmm. So people misinterpret that with like, I'm too mixing sometimes, or I'm too friendly. Mm -hmm. You feel me? At the end of the day, if you're a person, I see you, I'm gonna show respect. I'm not right. telling you that. I'm not, that's weird. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And on top of that, the more people I know, the bigger Better my brain life is. is. You feel me? The bigger my <laughs> brain is. Right. Um, but at the same time, like, I feel like that kind of affected some of the light on my relationship. Right. So, basically, so the reason why I'm saying I wanted to know because, like, I, girls engage with me, right? Okay. You feel me? But they hold me to the standard where, like, they don't take the same chances because I feel like it may be more of a risk to them or it may be like more of an impact like i'm friends with a lot of females right mm -hmm. i'm not just like a dude that you see in passing and it's okay oh, hey. a lot of women like actually care Talk for to me. you yeah uh -huh. like care for me like in, in whatever way you feel me at the same time like most of the women we all still have that little flirtatious moment right but for me i'm more like the friend in a lot of aspects because in my relationships i feel like or not in my I feel like they feel it may be too much. Like, because right now we try, it's like, as much as you want something serious, you, you try to have fun. The ones that are serious, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I be fucking them up. I'm not going to lie. Because <laughs> adversely, mm -hmm. from dealing with a girl who I think is serious right. and not, and then going to a girl who's serious, I can't recognize because she's doing the same thing. So now I'm kind of nervous mm -hmm. to give her more. And she really was the one I was supposed to give more to. And then when I try to get her more, it's too late. Right. So then I fall back into the girl who I think is around, but she kind of just picky choosy. Because I'm not the nigga that's just going to pull up on you. Okay, so this is, this is how, this is like the answer to your question. Ooh, yeah, so. Because you're entertaining. You got to be busy and chase. So you literally have to let her know the difference. If she can't see the difference, it's mm. it going to end up being what it's been being. Yeah. Because okay. it's like, if you treat and talk to me the same exact way you treat everybody oh, no. else. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. And see, I think, and I'm glad you said that. Because I was like at a point in time, I, I did start to notice my interactions with people, and just like, okay, I can see how you see that. So I'm not like I'm not looking at any of this as like, oh, she lying or she crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, you know what? That's why I'm asking because I'm like, I want to know how you feel because obviously I'm making you feel this. Way. Right. However that is, I just want to understand. So I feel like when you actually take that chance you realize like nah i'm not like i actually don't. okay so let me ask you a question why would they take a chance like that because you take a chance with anybody else and on top of that you're going to so, take a chance let me just say something mm -hmm. dating rappers entertainers djs y'all niggas is different uh, so listen I'm gonna tell you an experience with one time. I'm not even gonna tell you two, two entertainers. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Cause we're gonna be on my business. Yeah, like that. Funny, so with one type of entertainer, mm -hmm. he definitely uh, kind of like how you said. He talks to a lot of women, a lot of women. He has a lot of women friends. Um, when you know the women see them, they see him. They get like excited or whatever, you know. Ah! Yeah. But that type of entertainment allows him, allows them to do that. You know, still interact as if, listen, he, as if I'm not standing there. When he talks to you. So like, when I say that, it's like. Oh no, I would never do that. That's cool that y'all cool like that. But like, you gotta be like, eh. like, nah, don't do too much. 
However, the, the other entertainer, same situation, he immediately is like, yo, this is such and such. Friends, this is such and such. Don't, I don't need no confusion. Yeah. I don't need her to be standing. He never let me stand there. Like, who the fuck is this? Like, no, I would how long y'all about to be standing here talking? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To the point, like, even the cash register, he'll be like, huh, here go my car. He'll give it to me. Yeah. He gives it to her. Which could be like doing saying. too much, but also, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's reassuring. it's reassuring that we good. Yeah. Just so you know, it's not nothing. We good. I feel you. No. Versus the dude that lets you just stand there, like, and then be like, what you mean? I was just talking to my homegirl. Yeah, no, nah, see, I'm not going to do that. And, like, for, for me, my relationships, like, so I've only had, like, I'm not dated a lot, but even the concept of dating, like, I'm not going to lie. That shit is ridiculous. I'm just getting on to the, like, so I never look, like, I never called it, like, oh, I'm dating. Mm -hmm. You feel me? If we talk, we talk, we fucking over. But that's basically what it means. You just fucking around. You just have the choice to fuck around with different people. You mm -hmm. go on dates. And whatever happens from them dates <laughs> is <laughs> under the guidelines of dating. Right, okay. Right? So I was like okay you my girl and i have you feel me i have relationship issues because growing up my shit was based around like just being like we was always chilling mm -hmm. so i was never like the type when i was younger to like go out and i didn't understand that but i would do like more extravagant shit like we gonna go out of town right i've always been a fly you out type person mm -hmm. you feel me but you like <laughs> I mean, if I want to see you, I want to see you. And it's like, it's nothing but a flight. Right. You feel me? Or I come see you. That, that's how I started traveling a lot. Just going to see, like, oh, this girl lives here, so I can go see her. And then I'll explore the city. So do you think that long distance is better than in town? No. In this town? Fuck it. Oh, this town is crazy. That's what I'm saying too, cause it's like listen, this uh, town is it's over. It's that's what I'm saying. Time. Like I'm mad now, but it's like I gotta remember. Like you feel me? I'm 29, so it's like I've been around the block. <laughs> you been around the block at 29? This like I've seen a lot of that. Not saying like me personally. You're not saying oh well. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying that like growing up in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. We know. Well, do you think it's easy to be like been around a block? Yes, it's okay. in Buffalo. It's like not even the same concept here. True. Like that is true. Cause look, out of town, right in New York, I know people. For one, the concept of like dating here, it's like that's it's different. It's definitely like, different. Like when you out of because you gotta you you almost have to like ignore. What you heard about Yeah, person. or their past, or because you might have known, like... About them before you met them. Like, <laughs> most people, like, I see people that got kids. It's crazy, like, it's Listen, people, when them kids, pictures started flying up on school like, day, and... With this that's your kid? That's your baby mother? And then, and then she got a new baby. <laughs> Yo, listen, only, that always happened. Kids' birthdays, first wild. day of school, you be like, damn, I ain't even know. She be wild. Yo. <laughs> so, in Buffalo, that shit, wow. You feel me? That shit is rampant. New York, you, it's you can, different. Yeah, because you they, can be in a whole different concept world. Of dating, they don't hold dating so deeply. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to say nothing derogatory. Like, like what? It's just like, yo, the, like, I don't know. Niggas, women and men, a lot of men and a lot of women here, but I can only judge women. Mm -hmm. I'm a man and a That's fine. Women. I'm here for the women. They move so weird, and I don't blame them personally. I blame the them reacting to the environment. Like mm -hmm. it's just like. So, it, do you think it's because one, you gotta ignore a past, two, the, or the, the past plays more into it? Like right. certain girls, really, which is cool. Like we got, we all suffer from her fame. Yes, we all. It's hood famous in our it's mind. Yeah. And we will all have our rise. And God forbid, but a lot see they fall. Right. So it's like, that shit plays a lot into dating. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of girls that don't got no business with certain dudes, but they want to play that life. Right. And vice versa. It's 
it's some dudes that like these girls really not in like you feel me but you just bringing them into a life right that they don't Down need the to need. Day. like yeah. some girls really get some really good girls get dragged into a bad lifestyle i know a lot of beautiful girls from buffalo that, yeah, that like just are not the same because of the nigga they do right. and vice versa it's like crazy you feel me so that's why I smell weed. Man. It's a lot to do. It is. But nah, yeah, it's just crazy. So I don't know. Buffalo dating is weird, but I don't. Go, I feel like to go back to the to entertainers dating entertainers is about the person. If you can find a vibe with the person, who and on top of that. So let's talk about this. So you remember how the whole B Simone shit happened when she was saying she can't date nigga with a nine to five? Who? B Simone. Who is it? That? that comedian girl. I be seeing her name. I don't know who these people are. So okay, yeah. She said she can't date a nigga with a nine to five. Right. Why? So as the entertainer, oh. do you feel that? No. Cause really? You know, like, what you mean? Like, you can have a nine to five. Okay, so Girl, what this you, is what I mean by <laughs> like, yeah. So I feel like mm. I'm a I'm gonna say this. I feel like if you are the owner of said nine to five, absolutely. But if you can't, if I say, oh, I'm in such and such, I gotta do whatever. I'm gonna be in Atlanta for a week. You wanna come up here? If you can't come right. until the weekend, right. oh no, that's <laughs> because a your job. That's, that's a problem. <laughs> now I ain't gonna lie. You know what? Okay, so let's go back. That shit has been. You gotta request off, and, and that's hopefully you get getting, approved. Okay, so that's another thing with the which that some of the women I go and try to talk to, mm-hmm. it's like they don't, they're not. I like them as a person, but they not with my lifestyle. Right. And like I'm not the type of nigga who like you don't hear shit. Like if you know me, you don't hear like my name in the streets. Oh, you fucking say you don't know right. what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I'm not that type of person that's going to be that to you. But a lot of girls just had this insecurity, I feel like, that, like, he might do something because of who he is. Well, it's because they don't know. True, and it's like... I've heard a dude tell me, yo, I don't know enough about you, but I do want to fuck with you. And I was like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> yo, and he was like, because, like, you know, the town's small, like, how I ain't hear nothing about you? And I was like, because it ain't nothing to hear, like... I, okay, so it's funny, because it's like... Niggas around their mouth get cut quick. I understand what he's saying, but it's funny because I like I've said that, not that a word, mm-hmm. but like, and a girl be like, "What the fuck are you saying?" Right. Like, I didn't, but make it make sense. Yeah, it's just kind of like because we in a small town, mm-hmm. and he hasn't seen you before, and on top of that, it's like most of the people we interested in, we know mm-hmm. because we taken the past and we like, I've been wanting her, but such and such had her. Right. We lingering. Thinking. This is lingering. Like I wanted this person since high school. Right. She had a kid. She bounced back. I finally <laughs> get to get her. Some shit like that. But he basically said, "I haven't seen you, and you look interesting enough to like. I want to know you. I don't know you. Now it's like corny. Right. You feel me? It's a little game. But he was just trying to, you know, just trying to say like, I don't know you, but I want to know you. you. Feel me? And it's like. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's just trying to get to know. That's some weird shit. I, yeah. I, I was like, ask what? Me, like, Yo, cause he gets a number. How do dudes successfully bag you? <laughs> okay. Um. What do you like? Honestly, this is a hard question, but I'm gonna try to answer it because I'm trying to like hit the roller deck on how when the last time I got bagged, how it happened. So, oh, I can't tell that story. So are you like more of a post like aggressive or smooth? Okay, so off front street I'm an introvert. So if you come aggressive, I'm be like, it depends on how you do it. Like if you all have no swag to this approach, like it's just over. Cause I'm just be like, bye corny. Even though, <laughs> even though you know sometimes you kind of need a corny nigga, but it's just be like, it depends. Ah. Your corny right now, it feels like I ain't gonna be able to deal with this. So, <laughs> bye. So no, it's enough for me, dog. But um, honestly, it might have to take a little persistence. But if it's like a, if I seen you before, uh-huh. if I haven't seen you before, and you just like, honestly, how do you bag me? That shit hard as hell to answer. I don't know. You just.
just gotta say what you mean up front. And it depends on where we at. Okay, setting. setting. So like if we're like in a bar, you gotta like set the tone for trying to talk to me. Like okay. it can't just be like, hey, what's up with you? Like <laughs> set. <laughs> And you gotta know, as a woman, we gonna watch who you talk to after we get done talk to, mm. talking. Say that to the kids. <laughs> because like, who you, who you be around? What's, right, why gonna... you know her? And uh, as a matter of fact, that you know her. <laughs> so it's like, that that happens. Somebody tried to bag me in traffic, and I just was like, Damn. I can't, you can't do, I feel like in this day and age, yelling out the time. The man was like, roll the window. <laughs> it's, it's not. He pulled his phone right out. He was like, what's your phone number? I was like, what? He's like, we got the light. I don't got time. What's your phone number? And I was like, the light is green. <laughs> oh, that was God. If God wanted to have I was like, what? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't have a blueprint on how, it really depends on the setting. Certain. Because to me, sometimes I feel like in the bar or something like that, other people are watching. Mm -hmm. Because I'm like hella, hella low key. So it's really going to be hard for me to figure out who I actually fuck with. Plus, because I know mad dudes. So I was like, is it him? No, is it him? Oh, is it him? I feel like, nigga. And that makes dudes like scared to talk to me. So they'll go mm -hmm. through all my friends. What's up, Jason? What's, what's up with her? Who that? And what's up, OJ? What's yeah, up? Who's that? And it's like, know, they ask. tell me y'all. They tell me that y'all be asking. So by the time you come, I'm already like. Such and such. So you already know. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, we, like, it would be so messy, bro. Buffalo oh need a God. show. Buffalo need a show, bro, baby. Oh, my God. Bad. It would be a hot mess. But I haven't really dated in town. Yeah, me either. I know why. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah, the last two is like mm. it's, it's, it's just too much drama. Don't like one of them. Potentially, everybody doesn't thing. have I drama. Wasn't ready. Cause she came, she was younger, mm -hmm. and she came with this. So you don't like his younger girl? Yeah, anytime. Uh, as long as you twenty, like twenty one, I'm going come on. You feel me? I gotta be. You feel me? Twenty one. Well, you're a bad 20 year old. I'm not going to discriminate. You should, just like, though. It just depends. <laughs> no, because I like, this is the thing. When I was out of town, you would meet somebody and you would really think, like, oh shit, this person That's is like, true. Legal as fuck. fuck. And no, and they, they be not. Like 20. Like, that you is true. anything, you feel me? And on top of that, it's like, again, like, we going 20. Mm -hmm. You feel me? No, but you got to be. Not going to kill it. You got to be an elite. We like you gotta be ahead of your time, type twenty year old. But regardless, like whoever you are, you be thirty two, thirty eight, mm -hmm. thirty six. But the thing is, I'm trying to have kids, so gotta be conscious. Like. Interesting. So but you rather date a girl with no kids? Would I, I, it, Prefer preference. Don't don't try we, to go PC. Go straight if, preference. If we going long term. I don't know. It depends on the situation. I think entertainer is the one girl it's without kids. Yeah, because like, you gotta. I want one. In the end of the day, you're gonna end up I paying for. I wanna have that experience. All right. I'm not thinking about it. Like I don't even think I don't consider myself an entertainer. Why? Because I'm a person that does things. For one, it's like I'm doing this for me, and people like it. Now right. I'm not being selfish. It's just it helps me, right? But I understand it can help others. Mm -hmm. Then it's like it's I'm entertaining on stage, but this like it these rapper niggas be entertainer because they do entertaining shit. Right. I'm doing real shit, but I feel you. I am a entertainer. You feel me? But I just don't look at myself as the same. Like I don't. I'm thinking my all this shit is life. Like, so. So what does the, like, the woman that you date have to have? Um, a conscious, mm -hmm. like a real, like, I need to, you know, you need to think about things 
Just eating little things that are present. Um, should a minor or own? You feel me? Just to know that, like, no matter how, could we all go through our phases, but just to know that, like, she can do what she wants to do. And granted, you could build that up. Like, mm -hmm. you don't gotta be the most confident person, but just believe in yourself. Right. You feel me? Um, style. So, like, you feel me? At this point, like, I can, I didn't date a girl without style. I don't. But it's like, now at this point, you like, gotta show up with me. You gotta at least have <laughs> just. A style, whatever your style is, mm -hmm. you can dress like a, like whatever. As long as you can keep that, up, you can't just be trying to come with just wild shit that is offensive to my style. <laughs> you gotta know if you dealing with me, right? Match it, and then of course, like I'm gonna get you right. But then it's like you gotta be open to like knowing that, like yo, I can, yo, I can suggest some things to you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But you feel me? Those are the things I'm open to. But like, what I would want, she gotta be fly. Mm -hmm. She gotta have like a sense of like humor. But like, I don't. You don't gotta be a fucking comedian. But be you feel me? Be just, funny. Just know yeah, that like, we could shit, laugh. Like, I be laughing all chill. day. No loyalty and trust. Like just. Believe in it. You want to know something? I um stereotyping you, waiting for you to answer this question. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, watch this nigga be like, loyalty. Uh. Real, cause it's like <laughs> that's the that's the nigga's first thing every time. You know why? Because we did okay, so it's like and it's but y'all don't be loyal sometimes. The chicken or the egg. I can't. Like, I can't talk to other niggas. And on top of that, I know every nigga says that. But it's For like sure. I've had my like I can point out my problems. Okay. And loyalty wasn't one of them. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, what's you, two of your problems? Two of my problems was I was too. I didn't show enough affection at the right moments. I was very reserved mm -hmm. when they were beginning to open up because I might come off open. Mm -hmm. And then it might get to a point where, damn, I've been open for so long, I'm starting to feel way, or I might just feel way about myself. Because mm -hmm. a lot of my relationships got fucked up because of the way I felt about myself. Okay. That was it. It was like, I couldn't really find out love for myself, so I really couldn't love her. So, yeah. So, a lot of times, I struggle, like, girls been disloyal to me. Mm -hmm. If you want to really, so that's why I claim and want loyalty is because like I've been in the situation where a girl did some wacky shit. Mm -hmm. So that's what I struggle with, like trust and shit like that. But at the same time, you feel me? I just need a girl that's gonna match my energy. Like, right. And it's like, yo, do you not understand? You dealing with niggas that or people that are playing with possible, like. I'm doing actual. So it's like, you feel me? I don't, like, women here, I don't struggle with this problem when I go out of town. Right. And granted, they don't know me from... Well, parents. a lot of women here are nine to fivers. Right. Not to say that's nothing wrong with that. It's right, but that mentality. Nothing wrong with that. And that's what but I that's a, Yeah, that is a mentality. You can't just bounce. That don't make sense to them. Like... <laughs> <laughs> it's dudes like that too though I'm not even trying to be funny Come with me. but they don't them. understand like yo something pop off I'm out like I'm gonna go somewhere let's keep it real I have a 9 to 5 but my joint is so flexible that I could just be like gotta make a move working from home and I'm working from wherever I'm going so is that what it is I just can't deal with a 9 to 5 joint if, it is. I mean, a lot of you want to know something when she came out and said all that stuff. A lot of people was like going hard on her. But at, when you're an entertainer, not say that I am. I don't think I'm an entertainer. I mean, I do some shit, but am I oh, an entertainer? Fuck the hell yeah! <laughs> you're on TV. <laughs> okay, so but saying that to say, like, even dated dudes do not be understanding when I be like I'm busy. 
if I say yo I'm editing the video I'm busy they'd be like why can't I just come over there because you won't get here and then I'm gonna be editing for like 20 minutes you're gonna be like how long more or you're gonna be like let me scoot over here let me okay. let me rub on you real quick and I'm like let me just get this done yeah you know it's funny because like okay now that you say that when I was dealing with girls who was on me like that some of them I was like very like it's pretentious or whatever. yeah so it's like I was kind of like and it was because they was motivated when I get into like relationships and when I, I'm a person like I'm gonna play the game if I have to right but I don't want to I don't care yo low-key I'm like that too and I, I, I just don't realized get, that like, I don't care so I'm cool with having one person mm -hmm. they really lock it it's in. way easier yeah. too but I did realize that okay once I get with one person, they give me energy to go do mad shit. Now I'm doing mad shit and I'm not giving them the same energy. Mm -hmm. So that's something I have I had to work on and learn and shit. Well, like you that. know what Cash Dow said? What she said? Don't introduce me to a vibe that you can't maintain. I said, I don't want Cash Dow. <laughs> Yo, is Cash Dow really like, how old is he? I don't, I matter, don't know. But like, somebody, I seen like a they, meme. It's like the hidden secret. But Nobody knows how old she is. I heard she like that. Young, she like younger than me. Like she's like twenty six. Really? That's what like I heard. She's like young, but they keep saying she's older. She looks about like thirty three to me. Cash dollars. So the project. Wait, did it come out yet? It did come out yet. First of all, I just want to say the visuals you've been putting out on Instagram have been. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Shout out to my boy, my boy Rich. Uh, NYC. Um, I went to school with him. He's just a homie. He just got a crazy, crazy eye. But yeah, we've been uh, we just shot the Nebraska video. So Ben, S Cargo, out now, everywhere. You download it, buy it. Vinyls is out. Mm -hmm. um, we just did a vinyl um, with this company called Tough Con out in Italy. Mm -hmm. um, so go buy them, toughconrecords.com. Go. I think there's a couple left. The first two sold out. So it's like one left mm -hmm. um, that you could get. Um, so we just shot two visuals from that project. We did another one off of Aesthetic Raps that came out last year. So I'm just trying to, because the person I am is like, the life I live needs to be shown more. Right. I document it. I just don't put it out because I'm not really, as much as this is my job, it's still my life. Right. So it's like. It's still private. Yeah, it's like. I gotta do things that make me feel good. Right. So, but I know that like my style and visuals, like how you just said, like mm -hmm. that, like, going to Paris really showed me that shit. Like, damn, people really like to see me. Like, they was going fucking. I didn't even know I was in the magazine. I didn't know these niggas put these pictures. Up. <laughs> I just get mad notifications. Like, bro, you in this? Like, what the fuck is you doing in Paris? <laughs> Yo, bro, I just see you. Like, what the fuck? Like, I got so many messages. Mm -hmm. So yeah, more visuals. Is on the way. Next question. <laughs> uh, favorite kind of weed? Uh, granddaddy perp. Granddaddy perp. Okay. That's like an old. You feel me? That's that's like OG weed. Mm -hmm. The OG Kush, of course. But then like got the new shit, the rapper weed, Gary Payton. Shit called Gary Payton. It's amazing. And not the shit we smoking in the town. That's not Gary. So I know y'all know. <laughs> On the weed, this is a, you feel me? This is a weed enthusiast network. <laughs> that is not Gary. Larry. That's his brother. That's Close not enough. Gary. Close enough. You feel me? Because when you go out to LA, you spend that 75 for the eighth. Get you some Gary. Get you some vanilla backwards for 40 or a pack okay. of five. You roll that up and you enjoy that blunt. That's going to be the best blunt you ever smoked in your life. It's expensive too, so you appreciate it. Right. Like 150 or I will say the best place or from the best place weed that I had is Cal. Of course, yeah. That's the, that's the mecca of weed right now. Mm -hmm. Shout out to like Northern Cali because that's where the real pack at. Mm -hmm. LA got packed, but Northern Cali got packed. You feel me? That's where the mountains is. They're growing. Right, they're growing it. 
you go into like Seattle, Oregon, mm-hmm. all them places, Portland, maybe out of gas. Right. Um, but yeah. So yeah, good. That's my favorite right now. Anything you want to ask me? Uh, how many episodes you in? Smoke session episode? Yeah. Oh, this three. Three? Okay. Because coronavirus. I yeah. had them joints like boom, 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 boom. I and I was like, I ain't smoking with nobody. That's true. <laughs> so like, I had like put it on pause and put out my other content. So now I have to like rearrange to put smoke sessions back in. I feel like I've been with my family a lot during this. So mm-hmm. I kind of forgot. Not, and it's sad to say that. But just like, I've just been trying to adapt. Right. More than dwell. Mm-hmm. So I've been moving still, trying to figure shit out. And like, I've been forgetting that, like, oh, fuck. It's a whole pandemic. Right. Because it's just like. I'm it created a bubble. Shit is weird. It created, like, this is what I'm doing, bubble. Right. And then you forget, like, oh, shit. Your normal changed, and this is why it changed. What was the. If, okay. If you could remember. Where was the best bench you ever saw? Where? Like, or what was, like, that moment? Like, if you if you have, I don't know, that might be some pie head shit. That is some pie head shit. <laughs> but, um, I'm trying to think, where was I at? Well, okay, so a smoking experience that was well, really yeah. well was, so I was in Costa Rica. Ooh. Okay. And one of the girls that was on our trip was was from Atlanta, and she brought weed with her. So we were like sitting on the rooftop of our Airbnb, and you could just like see all the water and all the people, and we just like on the top with our feet in the pool smoking weed. <laughs> and I was like, "Yo, this this is really bad." <laughs> yeah, she in Costa Rica. Mm, that's what I'm like, saying. I really want to nice. smoke in places like I definitely want to just smoke all around the world. Right, because it's just like this is what I'm doing right now, and this is amazing. <laughs> but I haven't had. I would say this uh, was really smooth. The butcher's oh, breath yeah. was smooth. Oh yeah, facts. So yeah, we smoked the butcher's breath. We smoked a little of this. One then pound cake and then I mix it with some shit called Great White Shark. Great White Shark. Yeah, shout out to my boy. Where you are. But yeah, man, go download S card go. Get it? Um, Is there gonna be merch with this album? Oh yeah, I'm actually kinda do things. Right. So yes, yeah, merchandise. I'm actually going to New York tomorrow to go work on the merch. Mm-hmm. Um so merch will be out next week. I don't know when this is coming out, but it'll Next be week. Out. Okay, so Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, bet, yeah. So it'll be out. Um, we're going to drop the lookbook probably like Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You heard just what he said, lookbook. Oh, yeah. Facts. <laughs> facts. Got to. You got Because, like, this hey, is. Hey, you talking thing. about. He, he just a regular human. Uh, but you talking about a damn lookbook. No, I am very intelligent. <laughs> that's one thing. Like, I know a the lot of shit. Book. Like, I just. That's but one thing. Even I, if you work. I feel like I feel only you. designers yeah, yeah, say lookbook. No, look. People come. who just got some merch just be like, the merch come out on this thing. I'm going to come clean. It's like this. I have to get over being modest. Right. I used to be very arrogant. And I hurt somebody that I really loved. Mm-hmm. And it really affected me to the point where like, I chilled out on the arrogance. To the point I got two chills. Right. And then I defined balance. But in that chilling, I found myself in a whole different place. And that's when I was making music differently. That's when I went so, like, skis, to, like, went, he had a baby, so he was doing a bad thing, mm-hmm. so I was on my own. So I had to learn a lot. That's when I was just becoming a man. Right. In that process, I started smoking more, you feel me, my relationship shit, started getting, all that happened at the same time. Right. So now, this is the outcome of being in that shell for so long. Mm-hmm. Now, you feel me? I'm what doing all these things Definitely. getting calls from my, like my you feel me? Those two calls was my embroidery <laughs> guy. The hats are done. We got seven colors. But you feel me? They kind of I got fire. seven they colors kind of and I'm dropping two a week because oh, I'm okay. not. See, that's the difference. 
these people want only money. Right. So they gonna pound you with all these things. I'm building it to make everything go consistently because right. it's not about mass consumption. Mm -hmm. It's proper digest. Right. So you build. Heard. You know I mean? So it's like that. <laughs> Cafe. Good taste. All right. Tell them um, like your social media and stuff. Uptown Chase on Instagram. Chase De Niro on Twitter. He's an old man. Uh, www.cafeseason.com. That's C A F E C Z E N.com. Billy Esco on all digital streaming platforms. I love the paper. paper. That's Esco <laughs> with two S's. And not Nas. Shout out to Nas. I did that because I'm after. Right. In the second. The second. I got two S's. You feel me? That's got to go out now. New project coming Labor Day. <laughs> Follow yeah. him and get that. Yeah. Book book. Okay? You feel me? <laughs> Cafe season. You did. All you right, y'all. It's been real. It's been another smoke session. This is going to be volume three. Yeah, I've changed them to volumes. Yeah. I feel like... I'm making an album here, yeah, a smoke that's album. A that's <laughs> album. So this has been volume three. Yeah. My man Chase. Yeah. I am BTV, and I'll see y'all yeah. later. Peace. Peace. <laughs>